check out the agroforestry demonstration. This was planted, these are all seedlings. This is the um, jackfruit and ingo, which is ice cream being alternated down the rows. They're up on little mounds, a cut and fill method using the tractor. They're doing really well after the 20, 22 freeze. Uh, everything was frozen to the ground here. Literally just everything had to sprout back up. So that's why a lot of this stuff's multi-trunked. Um, you can see it's froze to there. We've been recovering and pruning. We just came through and did some weed eating and now we're gonna do some chop and drop on the Inga. I think some of these are gonna flower for the first time. Hard to tell just yet, but we really don't want these to flower. I have some bigger trees that I'm gonna let fruit, but these I need to cut and mulch around these jackfruit. We leave them really dense in the winter for frost protection and wind protection from the cold so it protects these little jackfruit trees, gives them a little blanket. And now we're going into a long growing season, so we can open them up. You can see the old jackfruit. It sprouted back. And we kind of some came back better than others. They're all seedlings, different main varieties. So it's a little variety trial. Try to come up with a new variety. There's 30 of them planted in here. So some of them starting to throw male flowers. This one has pretty big leaves on it. I'm gonna find some male flowers for you. Oh, here they are. Hell, that might be female. That looks like a female. That one's male. This one on the north side's doing really well. That's a beautiful tree. But you can see it, it got some Frost damage on the north side. When we originally planted it, we did um, pigeon pea. Also, we seeded in pigeon pea, which is another nitrogen fixer. So we did jackfruit, pigeon pea, there's pigeon pea on each side of each jackfruit, and on each side of each jackfruit was the ice cream bean. And then pigeon pea again, and jackfruit, and pigeon pea, then ice cream bean, then pigeon pea, then jackfruit. Sort of like that. And uh, planted everything down the midline, which is straight down the center, which was easy to maintain the edges. That proved the best on this last row. We experimented with uh, Tithonia, which is the Mexican sunflower. And we planted those on the edges of the row, as you can see. And it was harder to maintain. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, we had grafted uh, some sapodillas the Chico Sapotes that froze to the ground below the grass so the root stocks came back. So we haven't replanted this bed yet. We've uh, just been prepping it and maintaining it. But um, some of the root stocks sprouted back. Some didn't. And uh, we need to put another line of fruit trees in. There's a, we're missing a 
got a runt ice cream bean and we're missing one here that died so it's a little opening here but just wanted to share this agroforestry it's kind of a syntropic agroforestry demonstration we were experimenting with the elevation the cut and fill method and uh how it all work and it's doing really well so we're going to try to replicate this and potentially continue it down so here's one of the kind of the pigeon peas and the second generation so these do really well for chop and drop the last a couple of years in the system but it's nice 